Welcome back to Fireflies Follies. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If this is your first time here, I hope that you'll subscribe and stick around. And if you hit the bell, they'll notify you when I upload a new video. Today, I'm going to show you how I dehydrate broccoli for long-term shelf-stable storage. And I am dehydrating frozen broccoli. I ran across a good sale. These were on sale 10 for 10 with one as a bonus if you bought 10. So I got 11 bags and I've already loaded the other trays and gotten them over onto the dehydrator. And I thought I would load the last of these up and take them over and get them going. So all you do is open your package and you lay your broccoli out. Now I have the mesh in mine um, because it will get small and the smallest pieces could fall through the big grid. So I do have the mesh in. And all you want to do is lay these out in a single layer. And because I'm dehydrating from frozen, they'll take a little bit longer. Um, typically this is about six to eight hours. Because they're frozen, they'll probably take up to about 10 hours. I will check them at six hours. I will probably rotate the trays at about four hours. And these are going to be done at 125. Now, rehydrated broccoli is good. It has a decent mouthfeel. It's not super mushy. I don't know that I would necessarily serve it as a side dish, but it rehydrates wonderfully to use in casseroles and soups and stews. Broccoli and cheddar soup is great made from dehydrated broccoli. So I'm going to get these in the dehydrator and get them going. I use the Excalibur Easy Dry Digital. I am going to run these on 125 and typically about six to eight hours if they are thawed. These will probably take a little bit longer because they're frozen. It does extend the time a little bit if you don't thaw them. And I will probably rotate the trays at about six hours and kind of check them, see where we're at with them and see if they're close to being done. So. I'm going to get these in the dehydrator and once they are finished I will bring you back and show you the end result. Alright, we're back and this ran for, it actually ran for about 14 hours, just under 14 hours, about 13 and a half hours and the broccoli has completely dehydrated. You look for the dark green color and you want it to be crispy so um, this started from frozen, I didn't thaw it. So if I had thought it, it probably would have run about 12 hours, maybe even a little less, but I did start from frozen. Now, one tip that I want to give you, if you are dehydrating frozen vegetables, you should preheat your dehydrator while you're filling your trays. Let it be running about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than what you intend to dehydrate at. These ran at 125. I actually preheated my dehydrator to 135 and I let it run at 135 for about a half an hour after I put the trays in. Then I turned it back down to 125. Let's see if we can get that to focus in. So that is what you are looking for. It is dry, it has turned dark green, and it is brittle or crunchy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to condition it before I store it. So I'm going to put it into a glass container, in this case a mason jar, and I'm going to leave it where I can see it, and at least once a day, usually in the morning before I leave for work, and then again in the evening after I finish cleaning up from dinner, I get my jar and I check it, and I look for any moisture that may be appearing inside the sealed jar. If I see any moisture at all showing up in the jar anywhere, I will put this back on the dehydrator for a couple of hours. After three or four days, if there is absolutely no moisture, I will transfer this to the storage container where I keep my dehydrated broccoli. I keep it in a half gallon mason jar in my pantry, dark, cool space, and I have an oxygen absorber in it. I also vacuum seal the lid. So typically I keep a small jar out in my cabinet, and then for long term storage I have the half gallon in my pantry.
Now this rehydrates, you can kind of look at it and see what it's going to rehydrate, but this particular one rehydrates about three to one. So for every third of a cup of dehydrated broccoli that you soak in, in boiling water and you soak it for about 20 minutes. Um, for every third of a cup, you will get one cup of rehydrated broccoli. I hope that you enjoyed the video today, and if you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And I hope that you'll subscribe and stick around for a while. If you hit the notification bell, they'll let you know every time that I upload a new video. And I am going to be doing quite a few videos on long-term shelf-stable food storage in the coming weeks. You never know when an emergency is going to happen. You never know when you're not going to be able to get out to the store. And we all want to save our garden produce to use year-round. So, I hope that you'll subscribe and tune in. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a great day.